visiting his daughter. Gawe was South Africa's representative in London and Rome, and he later became the ambassador to Norway. He was accorded an official provincial funeral. A befitting send-off for a father, a husband, and a dedicated cadre who made huge sacrifices while fighting the injustices of the apartheid regime. Friends and family remembered him as a caregiver and a loving man. But to say that Pandula was devoted to the ANC is only part of the story. He was a joyful, quirky father to my sister Vuya and me. He was a loving and dutiful husband to our mother Tozi, and a baffled and befuddled grandfather to his grandchildren Jonas and Ruby. If we were hurt or sad, he would hug us tightly, rocking us on his lap, telling us to cry it out. He never told us not to cry. And he would stay with us all the while until we didn't need him to anymore. The ANC and its alliance partners spoke highly of Kawe. As you go back home, when you are sleeping, and meditating, you must ask, what is happening today? The corruption we're talking about, is that what Comrade Steve died for? All the years he spent in exile together with his comrades. You must ask yourself a question. Talk to your own conscience. Are we building or destroying South Africa? We, are where we sit today truly very proud of the late Ambassador Gawe, who has served our country with distinction, with diligence, poise, and grace. Gawe is survived by his wife, two daughters, and grandchildren. Nubabalo Dada, SABC News, Bilton.